Uh, hi everyone, I'm just going to do a short video to talk about the um, Telerik Kendo UI multi-select. Uh, here's a demo of it here. As you can see it um, lets you select things in a multi-select kind of way. Um, I really like the Telerik uh, UI controls um, but we're going to talk about this one and more specifically about loading a page with some options pre-selected so for instance if you um, had saved something in a database some a previous selection and you wanted to to recall it so what I, my phone what i've done is i've created a basic um, mbc project c sharp here and i've just added a, a multi-select with some some dummy values in it here. What we're going to do is we're going to change this so that when you load the page um, one of these is already selected um, and that's it. So that's what we're going to do. But first let's have a, a look at the, the code. Um, let me just sort this page actually. Okay so what we've got really basic so we've got just a controller here um, when the controller loads, it loads the, the, the index view and it just loads the view there, which is this. And in here, we've got this Kendo multi select um, here. It's called test MS. Um, now, what it does, when you load the page, it calls this read action, which calls the populate drop down from the home controller, which is this. Okay, and all this does, you've got an anonymous type here with these values. And it returns it as a as a JSON string, uh, really really simple, nothing complicated. Um, and that was what we saw when I was demoing it to you. So what we what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to play on one of the um, one of the events that uh, the multi select um, uh, offers. So uh, to do that, what we're going to do is just going to add a bit of code here. Which is events, and then um, e. okay, and we're going to call a bit of JavaScript code in here, uh, which I can show you in a minute. It's just a simple Ajax thing. So we're going to take the e, uh, which is our variable there, the data bound event, okay, and then we're going to call uh, a JavaScript function. Okay, now there's nothing complicated about this. Here's our JavaScript file here. So set selected value. I'm going to copy this so I spell it right. There's a high chance I won't. Um, there we go. So that's in there. Okay. Um, let's go back to our JavaScript. All it is is a very simple jQuery Ajax function, and it's going to call set selected value um, on our home controller. And when it returns the success, we're going to assume it does succeed, it's going to return the data and we've grabbed an instance of our, we've grabbed the ID of our um, uh, multi-select control here. And then we're going to set the data value of the Kendo multi-select um, and we're going to give it our data. Okay. Now, if we look at that method in the controller, set selected here, and as you can see, it just returns a, a bit of JSON there, which um, like that. So hopefully, when I run this now, let me stop it first. Um, I didn't need to stop that actually. Never mind. Um, when we run this, uh, what we should find is that it has pre-selected our multi-select with the first value. Uh, he's hoping. Otherwise, this is a pointless video. Wish it was faster. Now. As you can see that has not pre-populated our thing. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, so um, what, I, what I've done here is I've done a little bit of a mistake. We don't need this home here. So if I just put Control F5 to refresh that. I um, this is embarrassing. Um, save that. And Control F5 again. And finally, uh, we see our test here. Okay? So, um, there's lots of other options that we're going to go into in, a, in, in, in other videos, but um, there we have it.